What's going on, guys? How you doing? Can all hear? Bulls on Wall Street. Guys, want to do a quick lesson of the day. As you guys know, a part of our you know Discord community and just the day trading chat room in general that we do. You know, I like to do a little lesson of the day for the members about some trades that we took that's a little bit new on something that you know we just don't necessarily have in textbooks that requires like a little bit of a small nuance or explanation. I wanna to talk to you guys today about really the first pullback buy, which is a setup that we use uh, pretty much every day. But this is a very important setup because when you get like a hot runaway market, for example, like say like you have this QQQs, right? So when the market gaps up like this, it's very, very hard to just chase the market up because when you open up the day and the market's up like 500 points at the open, like what are you supposed to do? You can have a whole watch list of stocks but they'll like all be up three, four, five, six percent. Like in the morning, like this is my watch list of stocks. You know, in the morning, like all my whole watch list was up like five, six percent. It's like, what are you supposed to do? Like, you know, because that's like kind of the range that you're playing in, you know? And so what I like to do when the market gaps up like that is use a first dip strategy. We call it the quick pullback setup, which is a very, very simple setup. And we do this, all, you know, every day. But the, the, the essence of this setup is like when you get a stock that's gapped up, whether it's gapped up on earnings or just gapped up because the market's gapped up, what we want to be doing is waiting. We don't want to chase this thing up. You know, we don't want to chase this thing up. A lot of times, like people will look even for like the first flag or something like that. That that setup does work, but I find that's more of a 50-50 setup when it goes, it goes. But like it's not necessarily the highest probability setup. It has a, a, a higher failure rate due to you're buying it on strength. What I like to do is buy the first, you know, the first pullback on a particular name. So like today, like in Roku, like, you know, when, when I'm trading, like I'm, 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 this stock has earnings out. So I'm like just stalking it, trying to get like right, right, right on that first dip. So, you know, I had it in the 103.20s and it's just a very, very simple setup. So like as this stock gaps up, like I'm not even thinking about trying to chase this thing higher. What I'm doing is looking for this first dip. So as soon as this stock starts to dip back, like I don't want to just buy it to buy it. And I don't want to look at like a million different time frames. I'm going to use a five minute chart so I can get a real good dip. Uh, I can use smaller term time frames for other setups, but for this five minute chart is the best. So like as the stock taps right into the nine, I, I like it to break a little bit under, but as soon as it taps to the nine, I'm watching this area to see if it holds. As soon as it holds, boom, it's just buy right on it. <clears throat> As soon as it starts to hold, it's just buy on it. I'll wait like about once it's starting to hold there, grind there, boom. I'm into this thing with the stop like literally right under the nine. So like I had this thing 103.20s and it's the first tip setup. And like a lot of times like, you know, and I want to sell like kind of off into these highs here. And sometimes they'll break out and sometimes they won't. But it'll give you a really nice RR because like if you look at the trade like this, you know, you may have three or four points of upside for risking, say, 50 cents, you know? And a lot of times, like, if the stock is hot, they'll rip higher, like, right away. You know, the same thing happened, right, with Tesla yesterday. If you look at, like, our, our play in Tesla yesterday, I did the exact same setup. So, like, Tesla, you know, has, like, a really hot daily chart. So, I know this thing is, like, wants to go. But, like, it gaps up here from 570 to 592. Like, I can't chase that thing up $22. So I want to wait for that first dip. And so we call that a quick pullback buy because the pullback is quick. It's going to happen in the first 15, 20, 30 minutes. As soon as the thing starts to pull back, and this gives you a lot better RR. A lot of times when you chase the strength, it's always like, where do I put my stop loss? Like if you're trying to buy something at high, where do I put my stop loss? Like how do I manage this risk? Do I use one minute, two minute? And then like, you know, you just get all over the place, right? And so what I want to do is like just, this gives me the best RR because I can have a tight stop. I know exactly where my first target will be. And then if it goes, it goes. But you can see like same type of deal. The stock just pulls back right into the nine, right? And I just wait for it to hold a little bit. So I ended up getting in the 580s, right? Stop just goes right up under. And then like, I know like I, you know, like I could get a first potential, maybe sell up here. And it doesn't mean I sell up there. You know, I want to monitor that area. If it just fucked. Sorry for the swearing. If it just bumps right through, then I can keep going for it. And then you know what? The like the next subsequent dips and stuff, you can really let this thing roll and go. And you can see, like, you know, 
I didn't, I wish I held this thing this whole day. Like I was out in this thrust as it's just like an opening range setup. Um, and then later on, these are like more midday setups that you can do like 20 EMA pullbacks and stuff like that. But I love that, you know, nine EMA setup. It works like a charm and it's a great way for you guys to come in and just get into a trade without having to really chase it. Uh, try it. It's like, I think this is like, one of the best setups I do because like, if you're like me, like when I was a new trader, like I'm, I was always chasing. I wanted breakouts, breakouts, breakouts. So I was always chasing. And then I was having trouble like managing my risk and figuring out where to sell. The quick pullback setup is awesome because you have at least like, you know where your stop loss is going to be under the nine. You want to give it a little room. You know where your first target can be, which is up at, you know, near the high of day. And now you have like a little bit of structure around the trade, which can really go a long way. So guys, uh, hopefully that helps. Guys, remember like beyond the lessons of the day and always look for them in the Discord channel and I keep them on the website. Beyond the lesson of the day, we got Sunday night market huddle. That's at 8 p.m. And then we have boot camp class. Sundays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, we have those at 8 p.m. And then of course, I'm on webinar for trading 9 a.m. every day till, you know, whenever we're done trading, maybe the close uh, if the market is hot. So we've got always keep the schedule around. We're going 24 seven right now with everybody at home. I'm stepping up the education for the members and the community uh, and the YouTubers and everybody else so that we can take this time and just use it productively. As always, if you guys just have any questions, DM me on Discord or, you know, just email me if you want. Uh, K-U-N-A-L at B-U-L-L-S-O-N dot W-S. Uh, as always, uh, hopefully that helps and feel free to, you know, feel free to ask any questions. Take care.